are not enough white queer people talking about O'Shea Sibley. For those of you who don't know, O'Shea Sibley was a black gay man who was murdered um, for voguing at a gas station in Brooklyn. There have been a lot of protests and uh, celebrations of life organized in which people have come together to dance and um, celebrate queer joy and specifically black queer joy in the name of O'Shea Sibley. But I'm not sure that I've seen any white people talk about this and we need to because it's white people that are perpetuating this problem. The intersection of homophobia and anti-blackness is large. Homophobia itself is a product of white supremacy and colonialism. And while yes, we do need to be able to celebrate and you know enjoy things, I have seen countless videos about a show that was released this weekend, and I have yet to see any non-black queer people talking about O'Shea Sibley and the violence that was perpetuated in Brooklyn. The reason I say that this is our problem and we do need to be talking about it is because we have family members that we have to deal with that perpetuate white supremacy. A lot of queer people perpetuate white supremacy as it is. I firmly believe that it is every white queer person's responsibility to educate themselves on anti-racism, not only so that you're able to deconstruct it within yourself and able to um, be an actual ally to black people, but part of that is you need to be educated and able to have those difficult conversations with your family members. And I know a lot of us feel like we already have you know, a hard enough time just trying to be ourselves around our parents or our grandparents or our cousins or whatever. A lot of us don't even have contact with our family because it's not safe for us, but all of us have contact with other white people who still hold on to individual pieces and parts, if not straight up perpetuating and idealizing white supremacy. It's not always as simple as just having a conversation, but any time in which white supremacy shows its face or one of the tenets of white supremacy ends up in a conversation or in the actions of someone that you know, it is our responsibility as white people to call people out on that and show them a better way. It's our responsibility to know how to do that in a way that maintains community and relationships so that those people do not seek community and relationship with other white supremacists. I know that it sounds weird to say that we should be participating in community with people who have done something or said something racist because a lot of us think that the way that you deal with that is by cutting those people off. And while I do think there is a certain point at which you should do that, if you can maintain a relationship with someone, even if it's a very casual or distant relationship, and actively work with them on calling out those behaviors and um, helping them learn about how to be better, that is a responsibility that you as a white person should take on. There is no queer liberation without black liberation. And the undoing of white supremacy should not be a burden that is placed on black queer people. Celebrate queer joy, but also stand up for black queer people.